Beautiful morning, freezing cold. I'm wearing every single bit of kit that I own. I'm with Adam and we're riding into the Pennines, which is the coldest place we could have chosen. It's gonna be even colder than this. It's frostier the lower we go. Might be nice sunny up there. Maybe. I'm gonna need one of those special new GoPro batteries that does sub-zero temperatures. This camera might not survive. I like how in the Northeast you'll see like an old man who's clearly a local that's lived here for ages in a woolly jumper. Just a woolly jumper, double hard. Minus one now. There's frost on the ground. A little uh, bit sketchy. Zero. Zero degrees. Cool. Zero. Balmy. No KOMs on the descents will be set today. Even by Adam with his thickest slicks I've ever seen in my life. Comfy though. It does look very comfortable. Are you comfortable? Lovely. Mm. Aside from all of the moaning about the weather and how cold it is, this is actually fantastic. What a brilliant place that we live. You're always rewarded when you go out on a ride here. Proper. Hey, you know, I've been here with Dave Hopper before and he told me all of these trees here are really soft. Right? Yeah, so if you punch one of these trees, you won't hurt your hand. I'm not the thing though. No, I think today you would hurt your hands because my hands, currently I can't feel them properly and then probably my fingers would fall off. Oh, maybe. Degrees now. Oh, it's the summer. Wait a minute. I think it's a need to take some airs off here. Yeah. Don't need your flaps anymore. Beautiful. Excited for a little rest day tomorrow. Forgot that there's park run on that I said to Daisy and Jimmy and Emily that I'd do so. Gonna do that, have a rest day off the bike after a nice little training block over the last few days, preparing for what is a little bit of an announcement. I'm gonna do 500K around Herne Hill Velodrome to raise some money for TNN charity, Ben's charity. I'm sure a lot of you guys will remember me talking about that and half of the money for Friends of Herne Hill as well. So stay tuned for that uh, in the middle of the festive 500 after Christmas before New Year. Do you want to do it? One ride. What? 500k. Oh, no. No. What that means is I've been trying to get in a few extra miles recently just so I've got a bit of zone two fitness because uh, I hadn't actually been spending that much time on the bike since Spain. Hopefully, because I've done it before, I'll be able to get through it okay. But uh, should be a fun day or day and a half. Depends how long it takes. Take care, mate. What a fantastic ride. Three hours, thousand meters of elevation, about 40 miles. Hilly, basically. Part two of today, taking this big pile of stuff with Daisy to the studio. It's full, the car is full, it's brimming to the brim of items from my existing garage and uh, other stuff that we're gonna use to make the studio look good and be functional too. See out the back, all right? Thankfully, Daisy is here to help me because it's so, so much stuff I don't think I'll be able to manage on my own. This will also be Daisy's first time seeing the studio, which is very exciting. It's annoying that there's no car parking spots closer, to be honest. Well, there's a loading bay outside, but it says trade vehicles. Oh, Probably could get away with it, but... Good job all the stuff I've got is really light. Francis said to me... The Tax Neo this 2T. Is, this is so quiet, this street, and no one ever comes down here, and there's a fucking queue of traffic 
and every time we go back to the car, someone's like, are you leaving? Because it's, it's Christmas, it's, usually quiet. His bright idea was it to come into town on the last Saturday before Christmas. Not mine! <laughs> You know, this used to be a gym. Better sign up. I feel like I've got a pump anyway. Oh, I love Saturdays. Some time has elapsed since we were last talking to the, the camera. Look, it's now dark outside. It will be worth it, but it's been a long day. This is Ozmi vegan burger and fries takeaway with a milkshake. Vegan burger, fries, and a milkshake. Do you remember this? <laughs> Which viewers remember this flag? Time to go. I think I'm burning. So, a little bit about the upcoming challenge during the Festive 500. There's gonna be 10 of us cycling 500K in one go around a, I think it's 450 meter velodrome. That's a lot of laps. It's gonna take a very long time and the weather is looking like it's gonna be awful, but it's all for a good cause. Everybody is gonna be raising money for Hearn Hill or Friends of Hearn Hill, which is the charity that helps keep the velodrome going. Obviously a fantastic cycling location right in the heart of London that gets people involved in racing bikes, riding bikes. It's just a fantastic organization. The other 50%, we are all raising money for different charities. And my chosen charity is TNN. TNN stands for the new normal and they basically run peer to peer group sessions to help people discuss grief, which is what it started with. But as it's grown, they now have different meetings discussing different topics like mental health and well-being. They're just a fantastic charity and they really could use some money to help expand and get more people involved. One of the founders, Ben, you will have seen in my videos lots, either cutting my hair and also riding bikes sometimes. So if you want more information, I'm gonna put a link down below to their website and I will also put a link to the new donation page, which is gonna be open from today. So it would be fantastic if you do want to donate, head into that description down below. The donation page and all the information is there. Two fantastic causes and probably lots and lots of pain because 500K is a long way. As always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next week for some more bike rides. Bye for now.